Hi again, everybody. I hope you're having a nice time following along. I know this can be, um, it can be intense, this kind of work. And, you know, I would like to assure you that it's worthwhile. It's safe to do this work. It's safe to look within. Um, I would definitely recommend if you haven't done so and you're finding value from this work to get the book. Um, you can contact me anytime on the Wellness Lounge um, and we can talk about mo more in depth around your own stuff if that so appeals to you. Um, but just to carry on from the last exercise that we did, so we wrote down, so we went through our bit of revenge, we wrote down who we needed to forgive and what we needed to forgive them for. So just to tie all that together, if you have that there, the next step that I'd like you to take is to just imagine that person sitting opposite you. So read out your statements. So the person I need to forgive is Mary and Mary, I forgive you for, um, you know, crashing into my car and not paying me to have it fixed, whatever it is. Um, the next step then is to imagine that person sitting opposite you and saying, thank you, I set you free now. So for every line and for every resentment or anything that you found you were angry over where you need to work on forgiveness around that whole area because you're carrying it on your shoulders or in your mind all the time. So it's to say, you know, say the line, I forgive you for whatever it is and imagine them saying, thank you. I set you free now. Okay, so I'd like you to do that. Um, I'd like you to get the pen and paper out. I'd like you to sit there. I'd like you to visualize this person sitting opposite you and telling you that they set you free. So the anger, the resentment, it doesn't have to be yours anymore um, because you're doing the work, you're doing the forgiveness work around that. So have a go at doing that and let me know how you get on. Okay, that's the look.